family and classmates gathered outside of Central Academy of Excellence Wednesday afternoon to pay tribute to Anjanique Wright, the 15 year old who was shot and killed on Tuesday night. We've now learned that two people have been arrested. Abigail James is live at Central Academy of Excellence this morning. Abby, when could charges be filed? Well, Gina, we know that we can, uh, you know, really hear about those charges at any moment today. Uh, right now, what we do know is that the entire thing was caught on security camera footage right outside of the school. But not only that, there were also witnesses to this tragic act. So we know that the, that the detectives do have a pretty good idea of who committed this crime. Now, this all happened following an altercation with another person. And because of that, the suspect was escorted outside by security. It was when Wright also came outside just minutes later that she was shot. Now, it has sparked a citywide conversation about education, outreach, and conflict resolution. And KCTV5 dug into the numbers in Kansas City, Missouri, going back to 2014 and found that 2019 is the only year where the number of homicide victims under the age of 25 accounts for more than 50% of the total number of homicide victims. Many family and friends are speaking out about what happened. Here's what Anjanique's foster brother had to say. There's no hope. No matter how much they say they have hope in us, they believe in us, they want to help us, no one's actually standing up, stepping out and helping. So nothing's actually changing. Now, many have said that they're critical of the security that was at the school that night and that more could have been done to prevent this. According to KCPS Superintendent Mark Bedell, he says that this isn't just a school issue. This is a community issue. You'll hear from him coming up in just 30 minutes. We're now reporting live. Abigail James, KCTV 5 News. 6